so hello everyone so in this project my name is Amit Kumar Talavi I am from Mumbai Mumbai local chapter so we will uh, in this demo video we will look at our project that we did uh, in over a period of past four five four to five weeks monitoring and predicting air quality using machine learning so it was project undertaken by Mumbai Mumbai local chapter and so talking about the project how why we decided to do it, what was the reasons, what are the reasons behind the project. So reasons where, you know, air pollution has become a major problem in India. It is uh, one of the very crucial problems since COVID had, it has picked up, especially in Mumbai. Mumbai is a city, it's a big financial capital located in the west of India. So, and uh, before COVID, there wasn't air quality issue in Mumbai city. It was only in Delhi and northern part of northern, but post covid it has picked up in mumbai over a, you know, some statistics we fit over air pollution so over a 7 million premature deaths occurred worldwide due to air pollution so it's a crucial problem worldwide as well and the reasons are technical reasons are the aqi traditional aqi methods are less secure statistical based now we have very, very much advancements in deep learning based methods so we aim to explore deep learning methods and build quality accurate models for predicting aqi another reason was to explore air quality data in mumbai region what is what is the reason pi hike and what are the factors are affecting what are the causes behind this aqi and you know really, really very bad air quality in mumbai region so we found multiple reasons we'll look into it in this demo going further so how when we started we first started with our major goal was to create a collective data regarding aqi we explore data through various platform research organizations government organizations to understand the depth of the problem and you know where the data resides how the data is being collected from various government organizations we also leverage kegel's past data sources so Kegel is a website where all the data sets you get a lot of past data. So we leverage Kegel's data set. We utilize Government of India CPCP, which is Central Pollution Control Board, where they collect and the data sent through various stations using their sensors. And we we just need to get APIs and some static data set from their website. And we use public APIs like Waki, OpenAQ, Data, .gov, IO and open weather map. So these are some of the APIs publicly available. They source data from sensors and we can uh, run the you know, request on the response code to get the data. We also collected weather data like temperature, humidity, because uh, air quality is not just dependent on the you know, pollutants. There are multiple factors that can affect. In Mumbai is specifically located near to the sea coast. So it can be also the one of the factory and you know wind speed and how the various pollutants are behaving in that area. So and con collectively increasing high AQI. So these are the sources from where we collected data. Moving forward, what was the what are the major achievements? What we did in terms of how uh, all the work that team did, I would summarize in some few points. So it is we built deep learning model using. Python's Dart library. Darts is a very popular time series library. It has many uh, state-of-the-art deep learning models. We utilize those models to build and using features like PM 2.5, PM 10, SO2, CO2, NOx. We build model TFT model, which is one of the very uh, complex deep learning model, and it. Uh, achieved you know 3.93 percent of map so we'll look into it next in next slide but and also we analyze aqi data we uh, analyze what is the trends and patterns going on these data sets and our aim was to why we decided that our aim was to make our system make a efficient and you know accurate aqi assist monitoring system that predicts aqi on a daily basis and inform the citizens and what should be the precautions they should take before going out so let's look at the project demo so i will before moving project i'll conclude this slide like what are the how you know the aqi model that we built the analysis we did so the model that we developed we predicts aqi within mumbai range and within map of 3.93 percent which is uh, ih accurate model we 
to achieve and some of the technical what we learn out of channel is technical lessons like collecting data through apis a lot of team members explored various apis to collect data and so we learn those technical ed, ED on time systems is a specific problem so we learn how to do data analysis for time series kind of data time series modeling forecasting models we explored various statistical model and even deep learning models so we could understand what is different between statistical and deep learning model how the accuracy is changing what are the you know hyper parameters that we need to tune in deep learning model compared to the traditional model so that was one of the major lessons and deployment on cloud so we deployed on streamlit cloud our inference point was there and we even visualized all the analytical findings on cloud and project management lessons we learned was setting an agenda for week ahead so we used to meet every weekend saturday and we decided what we discuss all the time team members have done all the tasks under each sub task and and we what challenges face what will be the what are the objective we could achieve and what will achieve next and also team members the staff cleared uh, did very good job you know in this regard they really productively you know created sub tasks so all the new members or those are people with lack of experience can even contribute so we had very consistent engagement in our challenge we had more than 50 25 plus people you know engaged throughout the challenge which was a big achievement so that's for with saying that i would like to thank all the members who you know who, who have contributed to the challenge so there are some of the names we have more names these are the like around 10 20 around 20 15 to 20 names but there are more names are there who actively supported us and contributed to the challenge in all the research to data collection to you know eda and development of the project so let's look at the demo like final outcome what we achieved there are a lot of it's the first version we could have, we haven't achieved everything but we have achieved pretty much so here is the application front end looks like monitoring analysis dashboard and what is what we can achieve and air quality prediction data and the analytical visualization that we could infer so these are the some of the pm 2.5 ag each and every station you know which at which stations pm 10 is higher than other pm 2.5 concentration by station as you can see there are various ozone layer and nox percentage of by you know each station so that is it uh, with this saying we have concluded our mumbai chapters project i would like to again call out for all the collaborators who actively support and i also would like to thank omdena team veronica for supporting us throughout the challenge thank you so much